Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my NGRX Angular course. Now in this video, we will learn another new library that is nothing but the NGRX entity. We have learned about the store store data tools FX and we have completed the router store also. We have seen the advantages of using this router store. Now we will learn about the new concept that is NGRX entity. So what is this NGRX entity? NGRX entity is nothing but what we can say is it is an adapter for managing the record collections. So commonly what we can do is so what we can say is we will be doing the CRUD operations. CRUD operations means creating, retrieving, updating, deleting. So we are doing on CRUD operations. So in our project also if we try to see the posts is having the CRUD operations. So adding a post, retrieving the post, updating the post and deleting the post. So these are all the CRUD operations we are having. So what we have did? We have written so much of boilerplate, the code for creating the reducers, actions, and everything we have created. So, what the NGRX entity will do is the NGRX entity will reduce the boilerplate. Boilerplate is nothing but the, for example, we have the post data. Tomorrow we have our same module, something like categories. We will be having the same create, retrieve, update, delete for the categories also. Then we need to write the same code maximum part so 70 percent of the code we will be writing the same only so adding a post is nothing but adding a category is nothing but the same only but the data will be different that means we will be writing the same boilerplate code multiple times for the create retro update delete so for to overcome this scenario so ngrx entity comes with a solution so it reduces the code for creating the reducers and also for example if you see the reducers reducers means for example if you go into here and if you see the post.reducer.ts, here we have written so much of code here. So like this, like this. So the same scenario if you have another 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 category option or subcategory option means we will be writing the same logic. This update post uh, there will be the updated category. So like that we will be having. So it will reduce the logic in the reducers. So now and also extensible type safe adapters. Okay, so it will be a type safe thing. This is the main advantage of using this NGRX entity. So now let's see how we can implement the NGRX entity. What is the use of NGRX entity? So I have designed one full PPT. So let's try to see this one. If you try to see here, what is an NGRX entity? I have already told you, right? If you observe our code, so we have seen our code while developing NGRX application. So it will reduce the, the amount of boilerplate code. So the commonly written code, it will try to reduce NGRX entity. For doing the CRUD operations, we need to implement the same code for all the feature modules. As we have already discussed, for, the, for implementing the feature module, feature module means our posts is a feature module only. Another, you will be having category module, it's a feature module. So, the same CRUD operations, we will be doing the same thing. For that reason, NGRX entity provides us with the solution to reduce the amount of code for the basic CRUD operations. This is the main advantage of using the NGRX entity. It provides us with the solution to reduce the amount of code for basic CRUD operations. Now, what is the goal of NGRX entity? The goal of NGRX entity is to help the developer write the reducer functions and maintain the entity collections. Okay. So, to write the reducer functions, to reduce the, uh, so to write the, so goal of this NG, NGRX entity is to help the developers to write the minimum reducer functions and maintain the entity collection. Entity collection is nothing but the for a post season entity. So it will be having the collection. Now let's try to see here how NGRX entity works. Okay, NGRX entity how it works is it creates an entity adapter for different kinds of entities like posts. So if you if you have the post means it will create an entity adapter for the post. Or otherwise, if you have a category means it will create another entity adapter for the category. Using that entity adapter, you can quickly write the reducer functions and generate the selectors for it. Okay. So using those entity adapters, you can write the reducer quickly write the reducer functions and also you can also generate the selectors for it. Okay, so this is how the NGRX entity works. NGRX entity how it works is it will create an adapter for us for each entity and using that entity we can write the reducer and also using that entity adapter we can also generate a selectors. It will provide us with the selectors. So let's we will see in that one. What is a post? What is an entity? So here in our project, what we are having is we are having the post entity. So the post post thing, post is nothing but entity. If you see this post entity, how it will be is like this. We have in our project like this export enterprise post 
the post is having id title and description so you may have more but we but in our project we are dealing with the only title and description so id title and description this is one entity post entity now how we can create a reducer for the post so how we can create the reducer for the post so if you are using the ngrx entity how you can create the reducer for the post first step is to create reducer for the post entity how we can create is so here like this we will be in constant we, we need to create adapter right so constant posts adapter is equal to create entity adapter of post post is nothing but the interface what we have provided and this create entity adapter should be imported from the ngrx entity okay and next what we need to do is so we need to create the state create the state for the post post state for the for the post so now how we can create is export interface post state we have the post state right so now this extends the entity state so this this should extend the entity state entity state should be imported from the ngrx entity and this will be extend and we need to provide a generic that is post okay it will take the post now here you try to see the entity state normally how it will look like is it will look like the entity state so the entity states we are extending right so the entity state how it will look like is the number of ids and the entities okay so this is the this is the format it will be having the number of ids so it will be having all the ids and it will be having the entities entities nothing but it will be having a dictionary okay dictionary of the entities so this is the how entities will look like now if you see here if you want to look for one the reasons for the entity state why we are using for a, why we are using the entity state okay so if you try uh, reasons for the entity state is if we want to look for one particular post okay so if you want to look for one it will be very easy rather than searching the whole post array okay so what is the thing here what is the thing here is for example let's go to the ngrx entity okay so if you see the entity interfaces so here is the type how it will be getting saved okay so right now what we are having right now what, how we are having the data so the data how we are saving is for example let's think so here is the post data right so let's think this is the post data we are saving the object of post like this one post one so we will be having another post two okay so like array of object we will be having but the entity data how it will store is so in the post data if you are using the entity 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 model so how the data will be stored is so this one for example see id will be having one let's assume okay for this post that post two id will be having two let's assume okay and another one you uh, simply assume that you are having another one of post three okay id is equal to three you are having the post three so this is how we will be maintaining the post data now if you are if you are using the entity pattern so how it will be in the in the post data will be stored in the entity ngrx entity is so it will be having like this okay it's an object entity state so this is the entity state so what we have discussed here the entity state how it will store is it will have the first sorry it will have the first id it is saying the ids is nothing but the id of the post each id of the post it will save like this so one comma two comma three so how many posts you are having it will save like this and next another one will be the entities okay so this is entities is nothing but the post data so posts is called as entities entities so here you will be having array of so post one okay not post one like this like this you will be having okay so id one okay id one means nothing but the this id okay so like this let's assume one colon post one okay so two colon post two what is the idea of this one you are having so like this it will be maintaining post two and comma three colon post three so this is how you'll, it will be maintaining so dictionary of dictionary it is something like dictionary it will be maintained. so like this the entities will be saved so right now we are storing like this if you are if you use the entity pattern the post will be stored like this so what is the advantage of using this type of entity means so here they will be writing down okay so now if you try to see here entity interfaces or otherwise entity adapter now if we try to see where they will be writing not written here 
presentation no overview they have increased the performance no entity adapter entity interfaces here only they will be. entity state is defined like this extend this interface okay so we have seen this one okay they haven't written anything so for example see why 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 the ngrx entity maintains the post data like this so not only the post data every entity will be maintained in this format so what is the reason of maintaining this format is for example if you want to get a post of id 2 okay post of id of 2 means so what we need to do we uh, what we will be doing in the post dot selector if you try to see here we are to get post by id here we are looping here we are looping over the each post and we are matching it with the id for example if you if you maintain this one like this if you maintain the post like entity manner how we can have we can get the so post of entities okay entities entries entities or entries entities of two you can you you can use this id directly right so entities of two you can use directly. there is no need to loop like this okay there is no need to loop like this so directly you can use like this okay so this is the advantage of this one why because if you if you loop over like this for example if you have lots of lots of data so the performance issue will raise so if you have like this the data directly you can go you can you can have the id so directly you can go to that particular thing and you can get the data okay so this is the reason of using this ng ngrx entity but if you observe this one updating will become very much for example if you want to add a post here you need to add it comma four the id of the post and here you need to add it four column post four like this you need to add it and if you want to update it so you need to update if you want to delete it you need to delete in the ids and also you need to delete it here okay so this could be little bit of difficult but uh, luckily what it will do is ngrx entity provides us with some inbuilt adapter methods these adapter methods will be very useful for updating the post data or any entity data okay so this is this is what about the ngrx entity now in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to convert our entire post thing so what we are doing the post the project we will convert this one into the we will convert this one into the ngrx entity so we will try to in, implement this one using the ngrx entity okay so this is uh, this is uh, this is what about the introduction of the ngrx entity if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you